Want to get creeped out? Let's talk about someone who tried the hooded man ritual. The hooded man ritual is basically where you summon this creepy paranormal cab and get inside and see where it takes you, see what happens. And it's supposed to be really creepy, which is my jam. So here you go. Also, if you didn't know, my name is Megan, also known as the Queer Crypt. I talk about the paranormal folklore cryptids. I'm making a paranormal TV show with my best friend called The Curious Crypt. So make sure you follow New Blood Universe, the paranormal production company helping us make the show. And then you can get updates on it and all this spooky stuff. And they have other paranormal shows coming out, so it's really cool. For storytelling purposes, we will name this person Kayla. Kayla had some spare time on her hands and decided, with that spare time, why not do a paranormal ritual? Not what I do with my spare time. I play The Sims when I do get spare time, but you do you, boo. And by you do you, boo, I mean, do not do this. I don't suggest doing this. Thank you. Disclaimer. Boom. (laughs) Anyways, Kayla decides that she wants to try all of the mainstream horror rituals. Her family was out of town for a wedding. They still were while she wrote about the experience. She said she wanted to start with this one because because it seemed fairly harmless and the girl likes creepy shit. So she did it. And this was her first attempt at a ritual. FYI. So she gets things ready on a Wednesday afternoon. She grabs some cords. She sprinkles some ash on her driveway. She burns sage and smokes her house out with it. She found a couple of black phone cords in her garage and spent the rest of the afternoon unplugging all of the electronics in her house. She decided to start the ritual at about 9 p.m. It was already pitch black outside because it was winter. And here's how it went. She decided she was going to do the ritual in her grandparents' bedroom because that had a big window overlooking the street in front of her house. She started turning off all of the lights in the house, closing all of the doors, closing all of the windows. In her grandparents' bedroom, she closed the curtains and it was pitch black. She followed the instructions to a T, put her watch in her pocket, counted to 13, dialed the numbers, tied the cord, did the hello, I need a cab, replaced the cord and left the first cord right next to the phone so she would remember to burn it later. Kayla then sat still in the pitch black for about five seconds before deciding to go and look out the window. Even though the ritual had said this would happen, she was shocked to see that the sky was now a weird, strange blue purple tint and the clouds had this very bright color about them. And the cherry on top, there was a black cab parked right outside of her house. She pulled her watch onto her wrist and made her way through the dark house, then outside towards the cab. She did lock the door behind her to her house. Good girl. Safety first. Every other house on the block was completely dark. No one had any lights on and everything was just completely silent, which would be so eerie and creepy. Kayla said that the cab looked off, but also somehow inviting. She got into the back of the cab. She said it was really nice. It looked kind of new. Leather seats. No one was in there. So she laid down and willed herself to fall asleep, which would be so hard. But hey, maybe there's some kind of magic in the ritual that helps you fall asleep. I don't know. Anyway, she fell asleep she had no dreams. She felt serene and she woke up feeling serene and not disoriented, which she said was weird for her because she normally would wake up with like a start or a jolt and be very disoriented. She looked at the clock. It was 3.30 in the morning, which is what it's supposed to be. And then she went back to sleep, which is apparently what you're supposed to do. Such a weird ritual. Anyways, she wakes up again, and this time she is sprawled in the backseat of the cab. This ritual is so confusing to me. I don't really get it, but hey. Anyway, she was sprawled in the backseat of the cab, but her head was kind of like awkwardly resting against the window, and she was uncomfortable. There was a man in the front seat driving the cab, and it was on a highway that she had never seen before. She said the sky was gray, kind of overcast, typical London weather, so clearly she's from London. The man had his hood up. She couldn't see any details about his face, but she could see see his hands and she said they looked like normal hands they just looked tanned she decides she's just going to enjoy this cab ride so she leans back in her seat and looks out the window everything was kind of normal at first there were these gray fields which that was weird there was a weird grayish color these fields but other than that she was content she was happy just hanging out in the cab. One really strange thing is she said that the the cab didn't make any sound at all. Not even the windows vibrating, nothing. It just was completely silent. And she said it felt like she was just floating. But this is when things got very dark. The fields started to have these little plots of land where there, what she says pervadum was, I shit you not, severed, hanging on poles. Ew. And th- th- they weren't just hanging on the poles, though. Their mouths were moving and they were saying something. She couldn't tell what they were saying. She couldn't hear what they were saying, but they were saying something. Because she decided to just start looking in her lap, though, she didn't notice these strange people coming towards the cab. She said there were so many of them. They were closing in on her and dragging their fingers on the windows of the cab. 
that would be very, very, very creepy and scary and my heartbeat would be jumping out of my chest. These strange people were also faintly screeching, which is gross and weird and scary. So she decided to lean forward and whisper in the cab driver's ear, I have reached my destination. And then she just sat back and passed right out. She didn't remember very much after that point, but she felt very serene, which is not how I would feel if there was weird, strange creature people closing in around my cab, dragging their weird little thingies on the window while there's, you know, like severed outside. (laughs) No, 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 that wouldn't be okay with me. Anyways, she wakes up at three in the afternoon on Thursday. She started it at 9 p.m. on Wednesday. She wakes up, it's 3 p.m. on Thursday. The math's not mathing. That's a long time to be gone. All of the lights in her house were now on, but all of the windows and doors were still shut. She dialed that number, thanked the cab driver for the ride, and burned those cords to a crisp. She buried the burnt ashes in the backyard, salted that mother... Those are her exact words. And that was it. Nothing too serious, just a mess severed and weird, creepy people surrounding her, probably trying to unalive her. No big deal, right? Let me know if you're interested in more people who tried the hood and man ritual. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. How do you guys feel about it? Anyway, stay haunted, you little f***s. Love you.